Okay, so the first question is, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a famous soccer player, a dentist, a scientist. I want to be a ballerina, a teacher. I've been so impressed with the school staff. They all come from such diverse backgrounds, and then they come here and contribute. They didn't know each other before they started working here, but now they're collaborating, now they're a team. They don't have to do that, but they choose to collaborate because they value each other, they value the community that we have here. Ultimately, they value the students. It's not that they're different than any other teachers, it's just that they have a heart for being able to share their faith while they're working with kids and just get involved in the whole child's life. I grew up going to private schools off and on, and then I finished out my school in a private high school. The years that I did spend in private school were really successful for me. I was both academically thriving and super socially, emotionally happy. So as far as what brought me back here, it was going to be those roots of having gone to private school and knowing what experience it can bring for students. Why do you like your teacher? She's fun and she helps us do shapes and read. I like that she's kind. And she tries to make us grasp the concept and make sure we know what we're doing. She's a good teacher. She gives us free time. <laughs> yeah, mine too, mine too. I just know that the teachers, they care. You can tell that they care and that they love their students and that they really want the best for them. How does your teacher make learning fun? There's a lot of games before tests. If we don't understand something, they'll gladly go over it. She reads a lot of books to us. We do a lot of presentations and we write papers, and so when we take the test, we know exactly what we're doing. If you know your fours, do the <laughs> six A. <laughs> One of the biggest challenges we have this year is space. We had to give up our cafeteria and our library for classroom space, which is a wonderful challenge to have, don't get me wrong. But if we want to continue to grow, how do we use it? What are we going to do? So people volunteering or people having ideas, people giving money, I mean, all those different things work together to make it better. There are so many wonderful programs out there. There are so many opportunities for students to grow in so many ways, but we just can't afford it. Being able to have those funds would definitely allow us to explore those opportunities and give our students more access to things that will help them be successful in the future. On behalf of my classroom, Mrs. Snyder's classroom, I thank the donors of the school so much. You have made my time here blissful and wonderful because of everything that you've contributed. My students are successful because of what you have done to help us through these years that I've worked here. You are the very essence of what we need to continue and to expand. So we want to thank you for coming, but thank you more importantly for being part of our community. Thank you so much for all your support. We would not be able to do what we do without you guys. Thank you. Thank you.